So uh, I, we will not I'm... be will not be doing this for long uh, because some people yeah. will be have been going because of time. yeah it happens. Yeah. Uh, but are we in the same village uh, that we were last time, or is this a different? No, you, oh, you're a different one. The problem is that roll twenty refuses to load. Okay. Oh no. Um, they evil. So since we've waited quite a bit, uh, I wasn't last session. Uh, I yeah. wanted to uh come across the merchant kind of stuff because I still have to buy myself a lance. So I just want to see if there's any magical things I could. Uh, in order to do that, you'd have to convince whoever's holding the uh, the orb, which I believe would be Wendy, uh, at the moment, uh, that uh, Hello. You, sh you should go back to the town that you were in using the magical teleportation orb. Eh, so where am I right now? <laughs> uh, I was... in the middle of a in the middle of a desert. Uh, okay. with the wind blowing very harshly and spitting sand into your face that, like, if you've ever been outside when it's, like, like, freezing rain and it's, like, pelting your face, it's kind of that, uh, except uh, hot. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh Shock it, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh. We're... Oh, that's oh, actually no. good. Give me an iPad! Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Yeah. Alright, so I'm, I'm with the team... I'm guessing. Oh yeah. yeah. And Wendy, you have the what? This magic. I have the orb. Which? Yes, so I have this, the orb. So this merchant is behind us, or? Yeah. No. No. He's behind he's, the village. He's back at the city or town. Oh. He's, he's at. He's back at uh, Trainville. When you Train give me the orb, let me out of here. Uh. Why can't, no! <laughs> why couldn't I just like, uh, so I couldn't just make any purchases, like. You know what? I mean, let's you just can. Buy we could just take the back there. Yeah, if you, if you go back there, you can. It, it, okay. It'll can take a couple of, of seconds. Okay. No. I go I back there. Um. I'm on my horse, um, by the way, because after wait, I go wait, wait, so... I go Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do first. So, and you might give me your freaking tent. I'm going to make a dancing item so it could protect us on the uh, sandstorm and stuff. All right, and I will take out my bat and give her one of the tents. All right, so I just slap the tent and it starts to rise and form like a large uh, dancing object that like dances and protects us from the wind. So it's like a barrier. Oh, that's cool. A... And basically, he's super tough that he blocks the wind from us. And now mm -hmm. we have a safe area. Yeah. Alright, uh... now, Wendy, let oh. me out of here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn towards the paladin and give him the instructions from the orb and say, Tap. Everything, every instruction is on the paper, just follow it, and there you go. Yeah. Go over there, yeah. we'll just investigate the place, just buy your stuff. Yeah. And uh, um, let me go. I pass it, and she gets teleported. Also, uh, take Zen with you. I think he wants Wait, so to get Wait, so you give me this, too. and it teleports me to a random uh? place. And Zen? Uh, just, it, it teleports you back to uh, Trainville, uh, to the, uh, the tavern, specifically. Okay. All right. I'm like, Wendy. Then and I mm -hmm. try What's find happening? Magic, I guess. What's happening? Mm -hmm. What's happening? I'll I be got teleported back to the tavern. Let me let me yep. out of the desert. Calm down. What? She'll be back. <sighs> what? what are you doing? Uh, I, uh, I want to find the merchant. You find him. Yeah. Where you were told where he was, it's pretty easy to find him. Uh, Wendy, I will bite off your hand. <laughs> what do you want from me? Get me out of here. To give me the orb of teleportation. Let me out. All right. I snap my hands, and the tent just opens up. No, 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 the tent. No. The sand. <laughs> Uh, just blasting uh, in your you face and on your, off, like no? on your fur. <laughs> Can I wild uh, shape into a mole and dig a hole in the ground? Yeah, that works too. 
Uh, it is cooler it's down underneath the surface because yes. of how sand works. Um, but then I... Uh, all right. I assume so... she, she kicked me out, not Mr. Brownie, so Mr. Brownie's safe. Yeah, Mr. Brownie's just like... Mr. Brownie's in the tent. Just like he's just staying inside the tent. <laughs> yeah. He, um, he also don't like sand. Yeah. Alright, let me... Um, I'm trying to find a staff of frost real quick here. Uh, it's like he can cast some spells from, like, ice. No, I, I just have a, uh, a thing that has uh, all of the... Item costs? Oh. Item costs. Um, I'm just trying to find... City, H, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S. Ah, okay, it's down here on the second thing. Lovely. Can someone buy diamond dust? Oh no, right. I forgot! Okay, so a staff of frost costs uh, 26,000 gold. Uh, for you, uh, let's see here. The Ring of Water Walking costs 1,500. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, this is in resources. I put all these yeah, items. The, the archery, uh, the braces of archery, I believe is what they're called, is what you're wanting. Wait. Yeah. Where... Okay. Oh, what about the headband? Yeah, those so, ones. Ring of Water Walking. Yeah. Uh... Yes, the Braces of Archery also cost 1,500, and the Boots of Elvenkind cost 2,500. You yeah. said there was Bro, a staff I... thing? No, wait, no, that was the first thing. Uh... I, like, I, I used another resource, and it told me that all of this cost like around 80k. And now I'm looking at it again, it's like 26, uh, Wait, 29, like 31, 25k. No, I'm just using, I'm using a thing where it's like, uh, basically the magic items are priced based upon how powerful they are. So the more powerful an wow. item is, the more expensive it is. Uh, that's kind of how this uh, pricing system works. It, generally speaking, according to normal things, like... Staff of Frost, I believe, is a uh, might be rare. I couldn't, I can't remember if it's rare or very rare. Um, if it's rare, oh. then it generally would be priced from somewhere from uh, I think thousand gold to uh, like five thousand. It's like very rare. It can be anywhere from like. The the range is really wide. There's the thing in the uh, the Dungeons Masters guide for pricing. I just have items, a question. But... Though. Yes. Uh, are there taxes in this game? Are there taxes? There are there taxes. Uh, the ah. answer is no. Oh, okay. good. I, I, I mean, it doesn't affect that. us anyway. Maybe. Because we were gonna have to overthrow the government. <laughs> If we yeah. have to pay taxes. It's one of those things where I never include taxes in D D because it's just something that I do not want to keep track of. Yeah. So out, nice. of, fun. out of the list, I think uh, this guy only has the ring of water walking, you say? He does have a ring of water walking if you want to buy that. Don't buy it, I can uh, cast as a ooh. cast it as a ritual. Don't so right. it's cheaper, so like, I, I have a plan for it. Um, but you see, I, I, I have three day downtime, right? See, I can go travel around and search for stuff. Does he have a magical, uh, what's it, what are those weapons called again? A lance, I think? Uh, there is uh, the dragon ones, specifically designed for dragons. Uh, huh. If you're thinking of that one. I also sent I think I remember. <clears throat> I did some magical lances because of don't remember there being any magical lances in D&D. There are some. There are not many. But there are some. Uh, and so there's a dragon twenty is just not... you're saying. Uh, yes, I have to find them. Give me a second. 
Because uh, this is definitely not me. definitely not on the magic uh, thing, but I believe it's called a dragon lance. Okay. Let me uh, let me let me find it. Uh, they are very Specific. powerful. Yep, here it is. Uh, yeah. So a dragon lance is a renowned weapon forged from rare metal with the aid of powerful artifacts associated with a bomb hut. Uh, different lances are forged for use by foot soldiers, as pikes, and by riders as lances. But the magical properties of the weapon are the same. You gain a plus three bonus to attack and damage rolls made with the magic weapon. And additionally, uh, when you hit a dragon with a weapon, the dragon takes an extra 3d6 force damage. And any dragon of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of you immediately uh, can use its melee. Uh, it can use its reaction to make melee attack. Uh, basically, if you have a dragon that's on your side, uh, that's what that's for. I don't think that's the one I want. Let me see here. That's just for. Uh oh yeah, sorry. The dragon's wrath weapon. It can be any weapon. Um, and uh, it has various different stages. Um, if you want an ascendant, uh. You basically uh, have a plus three magic item that does an extra 3d6 damage of a dragon's breath weapon. And additionally, as an action, you can create a 60 foot cone uh, of the dragon's breath weapon once a day. The DC is 18 on a deck save, uh, which does 12d6 damage. Uh, also, on a natural 20. Uh, each creature within five feet of the target that you hit takes five damage of the type dealt by the dragon's breath weapon as well. Mm, that's a lot. That's, that's, um, it is. Um, I'm not oh, sure shit. I, I want to take that. Are there any that, swords that were on the list? Uh, let's see here. What? Uh, I couldn't see post here. it. I see it. I see it. I got it. Okay. Uh, they do have a Holy Avenger. Holy Avenger. Uh, Let's see. they do have a Holy Avenger and the uh, Sword of. So, yeah. They have the I'll, they have I'll the Sunblade. Sunblade. Okay. And they have Holy Avenger, Sunblade, and the Vorpal Sword. And a flame tongue. Ooh, okay. Can I take the globe of eyes from which shop? Wait. What did you say? Google. I like the robe of eyes in the shop. Can I take that one and the ring of water? Yeah, so the robe of eyes. Uh, let's That's see also... here, because the oh, prices posted tongue. there might not match up with what I have. Give me a second. Just... It's in the show. Of eyes. Yeah, so the robe of eyes uh, would cost uh, 30,000 30, instead of the 15,000 uh, put down by uh, Use a Yoga. So that's 30? So do I keep the staff or is, is can I, do I like. You can buy the staff and the robe if you want. I mean, it's 26,000, 30,000, so that would be 50. Six thousand, so I believe. Why are people so get rich? <laughs> because of the mm -hmm. uh, reward for yeah. Barry Bones. I know. You guys did last session. Wait. When I was planning on having this one shot be an actual one shot and not a continuing one shot. <laughs> yeah. True. Oh well. But I'm hey. going to stick with my own mistakes and deal with it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I'm using the same magical item pricing for this stuff because it happens. Reasons. <laughs> so have a good day, Ender. Oh no! I still got an hour. Oh okay. I, oh, you said you said ten, and I thought you meant like, I I my brain for some reason my did ten. not realize is didn't realize that you were an hour behind. Um. 
All right. So we're the sandstorm place thing. Uh, I think yogurt has yet to buy a magic item. Yogurt has yeah, like. You guys can roleplay. I'm just seeing which ones I can take because there's three I can choose from. Well, I just have a question. Am I also with them like or am I alone? Out, uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, I would like to point so, out so. if you buy the Holy Avenger sword, that's the only thing you'll be able to buy because the Holy Avenger sword costs a hundred thousand gold. Okay. Holy because Holy look, I, trust me, thing is very powerful. <laughs> it is. Yes. <laughs> uh, we already got a emblem of hope for you, Gain or. Three, yeah, I'm like, oh, so you should be. When you hit a fiend uh, and uh, it, that think... creature takes an extra 2d10 radiant damage. Well, you um, you could read in your the mind. Aura, the aura so, is what uh, is powerful. Advantage when it's wielded by a paladin. Ah, uh, interesting. Paladin class. The radius of the aura increases to 30 feet. Yeah, it is yeah, very, it's probably it is a it. very, very powerful item. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're uh, probably it's... not gonna need anything else. Like we Especially got. Especially in the hands of a paladin, it's just it's not. Well, your yeah. Wait, how much strength? I have. Do you play level? Paladin, do you wait, play with it too what much? level is this? And I have level. What is this? Level Seven. two or three in fighter? Because I remember I multiclassed. Oh. But I it's did not know that. Level, it's level 17 though, so I think I can still make it out. Barely. I don't think I'm going to be running for this for that long. Level 2. Yeah, we're probably just gonna get like, maybe 8. Oh, this man. won't be, like, a... This will last yeah, like, like a few At some That's point, at saying... some point, I will run out of, like, one-shot things that are easy for me to prepare. Yeah, um, I was thinking we'll just point, do I'd be this. Calling it. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just gonna do this one and then that'd be it, or something uh, like that. I've got I've got two more after this actually. Oh, Mara. Right. That oh. I can prepare that are uh, gonna be level appropriate for you guys uh, Wait. after this. This item appears. So, anyways. While grasping the uh, use bonus action to cause a blade of pure radiance to spring to existence. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, while yogurt uh, talks to themselves yep. and has it hard for me to do, I'm gonna mute them on my end so I can't hear them. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So yogurt, yogurt DM. just like put DM. something in the D and D general chat like when you're done because yeah. roll twenty refuses to load for me today so we are going to be using theater of the mind people because i can't use the roll twenty um oh, it happens no. we're all friends here so i will be <sighs> going into excruciating detail so listen closely um mm. so uh Zatorm arrives back with um Oh gosh, dang it, I forgot the name of... The Oracle uh, Teleportation? Holy Mrs. Avenger? Uh, what's oh, the, the Orb of... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. He's the... Uh, I believe... Severus. Severus. I, I know. Yeah. Severus. Yeah, because it's the uh, lizard folk guy. Hmm? I knew that much. Um, no, he's a dragonborn. Dragonborn? Iguana. Lizard folk. They are somewhat similar in appearance. Um, oh, uh, said somewhat. Um, but they arrive back with the orb. Uh, I'm saying that uh, Zatorm has whatever magic items he's purchased on them, but I'm not saying what they are because they haven't decided yet. Uh, but I'm saying that they arrive back with it because it's make it easier for you guys to continue on so I don't have to wait for them. Uh, and you guys proceed forward. Um, it is obviously very, very hot. It's probably about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. For those of you who don't use Fahrenheit, I do not know the conversion in Celsius. I am apologizing, but I think it's around. This is very hot. Ninety. Uh, what did what did you say it was again? It's, it's about ninety. Ninety degrees Fahrenheit, which I think is around like forty-ish Celsius. Yeah. Uh, 
That's that so, could be that's wrong. So uh, it's pretty hot, uh, to say the least. Uh, it's, uh, thankfully it is dry heat, so you don't have to worry about humidity. Um, and as you approach the, uh, the sprawling city of, uh, Shishet, uh, you guys walk up the set of stone stairs that lead to a half-buried, uh, gateway that is obviously, uh, was the entrance to this city, but it's, like, half-buried in sand. And, uh, you guys kind of notice uh, against one of the uh, pillars is uh, what looks to be some kind of uh, skeletal figure wrapped in a cloak uh, with um, some kind of glinting gold on its uh, right on its uh, ring finger um, that's just kind of leaning against the wall. Uh, of some kind of person that's obviously dead. Does do they look you, like a mummy? Uh, you know anything about this? I say to the Setri. What was her name again? God, it's Which? been. I know I wrote this down. Where the? Uh, who are you talking to? Uh, the Sentry, the doctor, that's archaeologist. Something. Where is it? Uh, are we talking about the the person that came with the orb, or? Oh, as uh, yeah, yeah, the oh. century, the century, yeah, the satyr, yes. the satyr. I, I oh, call the satyr. it satyr. Satyr, satyr. Uh, it both technically are correct. Um, I do not know if she actually gave a name yet. Uh, that's all right. I might have, and I don't remember what it was. Yeah, it's my fault. Um, I lean over. You know him? No, wait, uh, anything other? Uh, oh, uh, she, she kind of like approaches and looks at the uh, ring and uh, says, uh, This is the ring of one of my companions that I left here. Seems that they got desperate to leave and tried out on their own and they weren't as lucky as me what a shame um, what are what are they running from or what killed them when they ask uh if anyone wants to uh looking at the corpse they can roll me a medicine check I am, uh, I am proficient in medicine. Okay, go ahead. Wait, roll go, go, go. Roll a medicine check, please. Yep, I will find... Where can I roll that so you can see it? Uh... I've never can... used this bat before. Oh, use the Avaray. Uh, it yeah. is... You have um, no character exit. You have to make I a character yeah, active, you So you're gonna have to do it the normal way, which is, uh, exclamation mark R, base. Yeah. 1d20 plus your medicine modifier. 1d20. Um, okay, so that would be a 17. 17, okay. So both Severus and... Um, forgot the name of Nunu's character. Alvin. Alvin, okay. Alvin. So, so Severus and Alvin, uh, looking at this merchant... Uh, you notice that, uh, the person, the, the skin on their bones seems to have been removed of, like, all, uh, moisture. It seems to have, it's, it seems to have had its vitality removed, um, out of Jeez. character. Basically, the creature died from necrotic damage. Well, uh... Ooh. Some, something's going on there. Oh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Dark stuff? It looks like something drains its life force. That's uh... troubling. Ugh. Let's investigate some more. We need to find more clues on yeah. what happened in this place. Um, uh, I guess. Yeah, we need 
Was his ring anything special? And I like kneel down. Uh, it is. It, it looks to be a uh, this golden ring. Um, it's probably like a kind of like a signet ring. Signet ring. And yeah, a signet ring. And uh, it doesn't appear to be magical by looking at it, but it might be. You yeah, mind if we? A... If I wild we... shape. And so, like, uh, do you know what a bloodhound is? It's like a... Uh, it's the a dog? dog? Yeah, it's the a... Sh I the shape into, like, an actual beast. So, just a... Cause... Oh, so I can't... Mean, I, uh... I can't turn into a dog. You can turn into, an, like, a normal dog. Yeah, you I can't can... turn into something like a, uh, a displacer beast, for example. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, if I... Can I, like, try to smell with something, like, you know... Uh, yeah, you, so you turn you turn into uh, a dog, and you kind of uh, sniff and inhale, and um, you do get a scent. You think you could probably follow. I uh, oh, I can't speak while while shape. Yes, I just I just kind of walk the way of the scent. It's okay. one of those things where like. You know how, like, dogs try to get people to follow? You could just yeah. do that, and I feel like the party will get what you're trying to go for. Yeah. All right. Move forward, look over their shoulder, bark, move forward. Yeah. Kind of like, if they don't follow, come back. Bark, kind of move forward, yeah. do yeah. that thing. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, I, before I go, I look at the uh, stop tree and ask, you mind if we take this? It might be useful. You have a problem with that? Uh, you could You could take it. I don't mind. He Sorry, really bud. Have, he didn't really have any um children to give it to, so it's a family though, so we might want to keep take it for them if they're still living. You know Hopefully. what the building is uh, that they were oh. hiding in, so I could take you there if you need it. Yeah, that'd be pretty sure. I flip it up, like grab it, and then just I guess put it on. Why not? Okay, cool. Uh, so you guys begin kind of walking forward, following uh Alvin the dog. Uh, as they she leads you, um, and you get only a little bit past the gate when all of you hear. I'm gonna sneeze. Give me a second. Got it. I think. <coughs> Bless me. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you get right past the gate, um, and uh, you all hear this. Blood. And then there's a pause. Oh, uh, following your call. Oh, I take out Lucine yogurt. immediately. Uh, and I've ready it. Um, almost sounds like something, like, really heavy slamming against stone. It's just this... Um, perception check, uh, place of origin. Okay, so... Direction uh, of origin. Entered, uh, entered you could unmute yogurt now. City. He's already unmuted. Okay. Uh, you're great, you are unmuted now, so... Yeah, okay. we can hear you. Uh, yeah. Fallon, uh, so we've entered this dead-looking city, so... Alright, something's yeah, happening okay. right now, so... And we just heard uh, a big bang, uh... Yeah, you can all make perception checks, uh... Alright. Oh, is point, it, uh, You can is use, it, you can use physical hearing? dice if it's easier, and just tell me what you roll, because for today, roll 20 refuses perception. to work. I'll get my dice. Is it, uh... Wisdom plus three. I would like... Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> Wait, uh, no, uh, yeah, that's... I yeah. have advantage, right? Because uh, that's if, yes. if it's because scary. of the dog. Oh yeah, yeah but dog. also, is it? If I it's also scary, have my race also just gives it to me. But yeah, mm. um, I also. Oh. But I'm not in my race right now. Yeah, no, it's, it's... yeah, you don't have oh, that. Fallon, can... Um, so there was, uh, a, that was a dead. That was a dead yes. person, right? For I... twenty three. When... Yeah, Wendy. Uh, Alvin, Ender, and Zatorm. Um, it is all, um, in front of you are these, like, half-buried buildings that kind of block your view. It sounds like the source of origin is coming from beyond those buildings, like, behind them. But you can't see behind them due to, like, how they're placed. They're, like, 
Um, they're kind of like scrunched against each other, kind of like townhouses. Um, but due to how the fact that they're like half buried in sand, you can go ahead and climb up the buildings fairly oh, easily. Yeah. Okay, um, I, okay. Uh, I'm on my I, own uh, like shape a... out of the. Okay, I motion for like ground people move forward. I'm going up a building. I just and I'm just I, moving along. I just want to check oh, behind the... the building. Not oh, check night. Uh, no, no, Isadora, instead of doing that, uh, I clap my hands and the dancing tent just lifts, uh, lifts them up to the stuff. Because I can climb. My dancing can fly. I can just There's, climb. There is no check involved in order to climb the buildings because it's that easy. And um, I have a climbing speed, so... Okay. Is it, that too. Uh, also, the name of the, uh... <laughs> Satyr is uh, Delilah. Okay. Right. Um, Zatorum, can you help Delilah? Make sure she's all right, and I, you know, protect her. Like. Wait. So are you just... um, climbing up? But I, I want to like go yeah, to where the. Yeah, I'm is, trying to find the picture. Yeah, of, I'm just. Of what oh. you see. I'm also going up to get some like high ground. The yeah. uh the Satyr. Because so... it's on scheduled games, or, or the same. Wait, so should we have um, a map now? Alright, I might use that one instead. Up what you see. If I can't find the other one of the actual creature... I, never... so, I think, I think no. we're going in completely different directions, team. Because I want to go um, behind all right, the cool. and check where the sun uh, is um, I'll get others uh, inside yeah. the tent and we fly away from the chaos, I guess. What? I'm going to... Basically, my tent called carry people. So, well, and it, we called, can't it has hear a flying you. We I might, want, yeah, might yeah. want I can't, for some reason. Hmm. Um... I... Hello. Wait a second. I can hear you, yo, yo. I think it's just a personal thing. This might fix it. Um, yeah. yeah I just wanted to go behind the building where the sound is coming from, not necessarily from. Hello. I have this problem with one of my other players in one of my other games. They they don't talk for a while, and then for some reason Discord decides on my end that they just haven't ever talked, and so I have to disconnect and reconnect in order okay. to hear them. Okay. Yeah, so, it happened. Okay. Uh, did you but, hear what Yoga just said? Yeah, they're gonna... You wanna go behind the building? Yeah, where the sound um, is coming from. Right? I'm going to lift everyone yeah. up to see... So I run because. with... My tent on my has horse. the ability to carry people and fly. Yeah, so everyone was kind of getting onto the uh, the roof so that they could see the, the, the source of the sound first. Um, But if you want to go, like, ride over the buildings and get to the other side... Yeah. Um, as you get to the top of the building, though, uh, you see this creature going ahead and... Come on. Hey, just send oh, the... No. Send the, send the attachment. Come on, it's not working. Give so me this is what everyone but me sees. Um, I fly towards over the building and it's a freaking creature. Oh, no. Give me a second. It's not... Did it send the image just... for you guys? Because it didn't send it on my end. Okay, give um, me a second. Just, just what watch this be like, like a giant creature. Just, just a... There it is. See this thing. Oh my. Holy crap! It's an undead. It's an undead. It's an undead. Elven kind of panics really, and so yeah. Mr. Brownie's like, get oh, back. Great. It's like, <laughs> it is about... 30 foot tall, uh, oh, and it's great. lifting this probably 15 foot long scythe, um, and it's slamming it down on a building, like, you know, just... Mr. <laughs> Brownie, get and, back! Uh, and standing around it are, uh, like, five of these just still... Uh, what look to be like undead city guards, uh, based upon their garb. Okay, so 
how how far away is this guy? That is. Uh, they are about like, they're about okay. eighty feet away from you. Um, do they see us? It's a bit hard. Hey. Uh, they do not seem to have noticed you at the moment. Okay. okay. I want to can... charge at it. Wait before no, we do stop, that. Stop, can stop. I look? Can I look at the thing and see if there's like any weak point through my scope? Like anything I can aim for that will like ruin this thing, like give it a uh... disadvantage. Uh... Not how D works. So no. I know. I'm just ask. I'm asking. Like, is there anything I can aim for that will help in us if we fight this thing? Or, like a weakness. So I guess not. Not, a not particularly. Uh, and this thing. If you Ooh. shoot the lantern. Can I shoot the lantern? Oh. Like oh, when uh, the. To Again. D&D uh, &D is not a game where called shots are a thing. So, eh, I guess. Uh, All right, it's I'm not, doing... not really. Uh, and, the system and is not the... designed for called shots, so you just shoot. <laughs> yeah, and this thing probably wouldn't be very affected by my poison, would it? I mean, it looks undead, so likely not. Yeah. Oh. Well... I'm just gonna win the tour. I'm just gonna ready my envy the envy the attack, and just um, aim. Okay, so right. I want to put uh, the concentration spell thingy on my sword that makes it go on fire, and I am using uh, the legendary sword that indeed I got. Um, oh, yes. All right. What else? So. Give me, give me a second. A I'm seeing action. if a different browser will go ahead and uh, what spell are you casting? Uh, on my sword, I think it's the S smearing smite. Yeah, that one. It makes my sword go on fire. Ah, uh, right. So it is a bonus action to cast. Uh, as you kind of rush down, though, uh, they the. The undead do notice you because you're not being quiet, so everyone needs to roll initiative. <laughs> right. So I'm just charging oh, no. at my horse, and my characters are like, With the power of oh, God, no, no, defeat no. this evil power. Satan, you will Who's protecting hey, hey. Delilah? You will oh, she's uh, you will she's hiding her. behind the buildings. I oh, lovely. Her. That's good. Okay. I'm just I asked straight up charging to at this go, thing. Uh, to go over to where Lila is and uh, like keep okay. her safe and keeping himself safe. Give me wow. a second. Wow. I'm seeing if a different browser was going to go ahead and... Uh, hallelujah. Okay, I got the thing to work on a different browser. So... Give me a second, because then I can go ahead and put your guys' on an actual map. Ooh, oh, wait. Lovely. What does that spell do? Give me a second. It's na, 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 na. I've never seen this before. I've never used Roll20. This is so epic. Yeah. Okay, so let me just start putting your characters down. Oh, we're on um, Roll20 now. Yeah, because oh, yes. I actually got it to work on a different browser, oh, okay, browser so cool. give me a, so give me a moment. Is there a metal music right so now? Get I want to hear it. There is no music Hello. right now because I don't have any prepared. All right, um, I'm going. I'm just also, going to. Also, Fred boat doesn't work anymore, so we can't do that. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Unfortunately. Okay, thank okay, you. This this is very good. okay, so I am the blue person because for some reason the thing doesn't want to update when I changed it. Um, yeah, it didn't. So you are the blue person. So um, where are the? You're gates? riding your horse. Yeah, where are? You? They're all the way back. They're all the way back there that you can see, so... but you you're like right here where I put you. I would have like oh, went no, around not... over here or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no. No. Um. What am I missing? Following um... them up is like yeah. I can I can I go know, here I... or not. You can go right there. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out who am I missing. I'm missing Alvin, so I have to put them on the map. Maybe, uh, maybe Mr. Brownie could be, I don't, but I don't know. Why is, is it, like, the map is just a black box for me. Um, 
Give me it's it's because of dynamic lighting. Give me a moment. Oh, okay. I was just I wanted to make sure that it Give was me a oh, second. Wait, it's, it's to... um, it's there we go. To... Yeah, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. We need Zenitsu here. Oh, I love Mr. Brownie's thing. It's hilarious. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. so if you're not if you're not on the map, you can place yourself there. I feel like I'm missing someone, but I can't remember. Uh, who. You're missing Zenitsu. Yeah. Zenitsu. Is oh, where is that? Severus? Guy? Isn't he Severus? Isn't he this guy right there? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, that's that's him. Then we're so missing got... we're missing Yogurt, but but Yogurt. But I'm yeah. a, he's over, right. he's over there. I'm the yeah. blue person. He's the blue person over there, uh, and because I, for some I... reason his token yeah. does not want to load. I, can I like make Mr. Brownie move like down here or something? Yeah, you can. Um, also because it's easier, Mr. Brownie will go on your turn, and it's a basically you just command him what to do, and he'll do it. Oh yeah, he's, he's... familiar. He's also not like a, uh, what would you call it, a a combatant, as he is. Uh, he's he is a like challenge. A he is a challenge rating one bear. So yeah, well he is. Can not... throw. He can throw <laughs> hands if needed to. And exactly, if needed to. Or claws. But I don't want... He he is a precious baby, therefore he won't. Also, uh, the thing on the screen that is actually what the uh, giant undead looks like, and not the thing I gave you guys because I couldn't find that picture but on roll 20 it actually is there already so that's what you see and not the uh the thing that I posted. Okay, okay, okay. It was that like the was... closest thing the closest thing I could find to what it would look like. Uh <laughs> was on my computer at the moment. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh I will roll for initiatives and everyone can go ahead and put their own do initiatives. We just do that on roll 20. How do I uh, you uh, click you the number and then put you it click in. the number and then put in the number you rolled and then hit enter and that should automatically update. If it doesn't, then I'll just go through and ask everyone. Oh, yeah, initiative I tomorrow. think I am unsure how to do this. So, like my initiative is five. Is it? Can I just roll like a? Oh, if you roll your own dice, like in person. Wait, oh. Isidore, do we still have the plus two AC pack thing? Natural oh, yeah, we, one. We would, so. uh, yeah. yeah, five. Okay, that's so five. So you would go ahead and put uh, over on the left side, you should see your Alvin, where it's zero. You just would go ahead and click on that and then put there five there and then uh, hit yeah. enter. Yeah. Should and that is as easy as that. 19. I got 19. First, first time using roll 20. So. You're good. You're good. You're good. Right, the undead giant um, rolled, 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 rolled awfully on its initiative because it rolled a seven. Get rolled right. seven. <laughs> I rolled the one, and that's one. And then the undead rolled, guard. Uh, I rolled a uh, nineteen. I rolled a nineteen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. How large is the tent? Because I have I'm riding Deze right now. My character just starts praying <laughs> mid battle. I'll uh, use the tent. I have a dancing object companion, and I'm riding him right now. I think <laughs> I might have given you uh, a thing, but I might not have. Um, yeah, good, I have you, a cut though. Yeah, good. You should be able to just put it in yourself. In the what kind of okay. thingy thing? Give oh, yeah, me a moment. All right, I need. There we go. I need to give a. Uh... All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah. Give me a second. Uh, what happened to Zenith? Uh, na 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 na. Right, cool. 
Right. I decided to make your dancing object a snow owl, and you have to deal oh, with it. Oh, he's cute! And it's a large creature, so let me go ahead and do this. Oh, he's thick! Uh, and you can control it and move it around. Uh, and basically it will also go on your turn for the sake of ease. Uh, so Torm, would you... Yeah, Wait, sorry. So, um... Andy, what do you roll for your initiative? 19. 19? Okay, cool. And, uh, Severus, what do you roll for your initiative, if you're still here? I think he's having connection Severus. problems. Severus, hello. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he... I think, yeah. Uh... Um, he's... <laughs> I think he's offline because when I see his uh, profile, it's no black. I, I got a six. Oh. Got a six. Got it. Thank you. Yes. Six. Oh no. Six. You got below the oh. giant. Somehow. Uh, I did too. I rolled an add one. Ah yes. <laughs> oh the no. The infamous in nat the one. Uh, now First. if I am, I'm pretty sure that. I don't really care. So, at the top of the initiative, we have, um, Zatorum. Uh, question. How does channel divinity work? Depends on what kind of paladin you are. Um, I chose the Abjur the Extra Planar because I just noticed it was in my character sheet. So, uh, look at it. It's is an it action. Like... You can do... You can okay. do that. So it's an action to do that. Basically. It's an action to use your down divinity, and it does what it says it does on your sheet. Okay. Um, Where's the music coming from? Oh, 20. Oh! Uh, I was confused. It's turned. What does it mean by turned? It must flee from you. Must flee from you. I love how the owl is a uh, thick got a lot of it. Okay. But they're all undead, so that might not work. Yeah. Um it says each aberration celestial elemental fey or fiend. Yeah, they're not any of those, so it wouldn't work on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well they're not undead? The heck? All right, all right. So, can paladins attack on bonus action, or is that a different class thing? Oh, uh, oh, basically, if you used a bonus action to cast a spell, what you did, yeah, you can't use your bonus that action for before... anything else because I, you, I did that before you've already expended it. I did so that you, before. you cast it, like, yeah. So you do have a bonus action technically. Yep. On your turn. But you really can't do anything with it, because I don't think you're wielding, like, two weapons. Oh. So... Um... Hmm. Yeah, I have the sword thing, so I don't know. And the bonus action spells that I have... Uh, are... Let me see them. I think all Just of them keep in are... mind that... Just keep in mind that you're concentrating on the current smite that you have, so you can't cast another concentration spell. So, Searing Smite, oh. the fire, I thought the fire lasts for uh, one until you hit the person and then it goes away. So, this is a continual yes. fire. Yeah. Or does it? Okay. All right. So, let me see. I'm right here. I can. I'm on my horse, so my horse is a war horse. How much oh. feet can it? It has a 60 foot movement speed. Okay, and it can charge, yes? Yes. So that's double, so that's 120. Um... Hmm. Alright. I think you need 120. Uh, can I. Like. Okay, rush past like two. I don't know, like 
here and then just run off and like attack them and then like move you know what i'm gonna get imagine so if if you go ahead and enter their space and move past the uh undead will get attacks of opportunity against either you or the horse it's kind of up to them to make the decision and honestly they're probably going to attack you because you look more threatening than your horse okay uh that's how that's how it works in D&D you can't really drive by swipe at people uh because they will just be able to swipe at you back hmm that's how it goes that's how it goes so, so basically you can charge you could charge up to the first guy uh, and attack him. I need you to move away, though, because I'm going to cast an AoE spell. Yeah. Yeah, I want to move away anyway. Uh, so I suggest get hit, like. I'll hit this guy, then I'll run off like somewhere. Yeah, like just okay. here. All right. So you move up. Go ahead and make your attack roll. Okay. So that's going to be. Hold up. Where's my? It's a long sword. Uh, my normal attack bonus is plus eight, but I get an extra plus three, so that's plus eleven. Um. Uh, D twenty plus eleven. Twenty four. Are that's um, and then the damage of that is, uh, so it can be any sword, and then it just does additional damage, basically. So Longsword does 1d8, right? A longsword does 1d8 damage, right? Yes, that is correct. Um, okay, so... Coordination by... Our D8s... Plus... So this is a longsword... Uh, plus 5, plus 3, that's plus 8. And then, because it's, uh... Undead, an extra 2d10 radiant damage. Okay, I'm just trying to see if Sorry, I have luck, bad. maybe. Uh... No, it appears I do not have the lucky feet. Okay. It doesn't really matter, you can't reroll damage with the lucky feet. Oh. Only attacks. Yes. Only Stop. attacks? Oh, oh I said okay. only, like... Or ability yeah, checks cool. or saving throws. Yeah, it's like basically any 20 set of die that you roll. So it's 2d10. I mean, you called fish yeah. for a crit. <laughs> it's 2d10, yeah? Yes, that is correct. And then do the plus 3 count on this as well or not? Uh, no, just just 2d10. Okay. It only applies to the actual weapon. Hmm. So 9 plus 8, that's uh, 17. 17, yep. And then because I put the Searing Smite on it, there's also the fire thingy. Yes. Oh boy. And roll for that. Uh, so, hold up. I think it needs to make a save of some kind. Yeah, I think so as well. I'm just trying to find the Searing uh... Smite. Okay. Uh, next time you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack during the smell's duration. And the attack deals an extra 1d6 fire damage to the target and causes the target to ignite in flames. It's like every every start of its turn. Uh, it, at the start of take, each of it its makes... turns, until the spell ends, the target must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 1d6 fire damage. On a successful save, the spell ends. If the target or a creature. Cool. So. It assumes it. that it's already in fire? Or does it? You hit it, and it just bursts into flames. Okay, so it does 1d6 damage. On its, on its turn. 
Uh, each turn it must make a dexterity saving throw. If it succeeds, it, the spell ends. Yeah, so basically, basically, on its turn, it makes a con save. If it fails, it takes the d6 of fire damage. If it succeeds, on its very first turn, yeah, but uh, doesn't then it, it doesn't do take damage any when damage. I hit it as well. Does it say that it does damage when you yeah. hit it? Because it uh, says... So, Soaring Smite does 1d. Next time, you cast it as a bonus action. Next time... Uh, you had a creature with me, let's say, you roll 1d6 fire damage. Right, so then... roll 1d6, Okay. and then on its turn it makes a con save, and then if it succeeds, then the spell ends. If it fails, then it takes more fire damage until the spell ends. Or until you lose concentration. One of the two. That's six. Yeah. Right, cool. So, 17 16. plus six, that's 23 damage. Cool. Uh, and then, um... Basically, uh, run off. Okay, where I am. And then you run off. Uh, two of the creatures get to swipe at you as you move by. Okay. Uh, so let me go ahead and roll their attacks to hit. Uh, nope. Miss. Uh, natural 20. That hits. Oh, so it hits anywhere. If it's a uh, 20. I mean, automatically, it's an, yeah, na naturally, it always hits, because criticals. Oh, man. Uh, so... Oh, I... oh. Mm. Uh, so you go ahead and take six damage, uh, as a torm, as it, boom, at you with, uh, its, uh, sword and okay. pierces into your side as you ride past. Six. Uh, okay. And that's your turn. So, uh, Wendy, it is your turn. Ah! All right. Mm -hmm. All of you are grouped together. This is going to be fun. Um, hmm, what do I do? I'm just going to use my. I'm going to bring up my drum, and then tap, 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 and there's like a clock, uh, underneath them, like a magic circle clock, and then it starts ticking slow, and I'm going to cast slow on everyone, including the boss. Cool. Uh, wisdom saving throw, right? Yep. Cool. DC nineteen because. My drum. Yeah. The magical drum you just bought. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, if you cast slow, you can actually target all of the enemies. Well, that depends on. Uh, so all of the smaller skeletons fail. The giant succeeds. Oh no. As it, as it rolls a natural 20. What's oh, with your rolls? <laughs> rigged. <laughs> rigged. Rigged. Um, granted, it just manages to pass because it has a negative 1 to its wisdom save. So technically oh. it rolled a 19. So, the only way it could succeed is if I rolled a natural 20. I call bullshit. <laughs> All right. I rolled um, it, so it yeah. happened. This, so, so. this rule works on our side as well. Um, anywho. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, all so... of them are slowed, except for the giant guy. What does slow yeah. do? Um... Uh, they have a lot of negative modifiers. Oh. Everyone has a negative 2 on ACs and negative 2 on dexterity saving throws. Ooh, nice. And they could only do an action or a bonus action on their turn. Oh, you like, said negative and reactions. They have action or bonus action. Oh. And they couldn't do any re uh, 
reaction. Pinapatry to spell cast a spell. If the target is a spell caster, we have to roll a d20 on an 11 or higher. Ay, on a 10 or lower, they cannot. They will waste the spell completely. Okay. They're not All spell right. casters though, I, I think. Right. Action uh, and... Anything else? It can make more than one melee attack or range attack during its turn. How much range? An effect of speed. Oh, their speed is also halved. And they can Anything... use reactions. Yeah. Anything else for your turn? You know what? I'm going to copy paste this thing so you guys could see it. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Alright, and then I'm going to put Desi in front of us. So he will he will just like take all the damage. And then uh, I'm going to use my bardic inspiration on our me, dear friend. Me, 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 no. 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 I'm going to use... I'm going to use my bonus action on our dear friend Isadora. I'm going to snap oh. my fingers and there's like black roses like start swirling around her. I around him, him, and that's um as a bonus action. I'm going to make Beze do a dodge action. There we go. And cool. my turn ends. All right. Wait. Gets Since one turn I'm... before he has to go. <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm gonna make this count. So, okay, here we go. Did I bullet in Lucine? I take an aim at the big guy. Zephyr strike on me. So, right. that's an auto crit. On my first attack, yeah, right? Yes. Did I bullet? Uh, you, you put a dead eye bullet. It's on auto critical as you fire. Yeah, and then after that goes in. Favored foam, so that gets crit too. Okay, crit. Here um, I go with my crit damage. You could also use the bardic inspiration for extra damage, but the okay. Uh, first, on uh, attack thirty-three piercing magical, uh, and then another um six piercing magical. Okay, cool. Then from Zephyr strike. That is a 16 force. Cool. Oh. And, and uh, I... Oh, nice. Then, Envy. um, envied attack. No, wait. Uh, what? Because Wendy is part of creation when she inspires you, you can use your inspiration to deal an extra... Deal extra Damn. thunder damage, depending on what you roll. Oh. Uh, yep. Okay, sure. Would that be crit too? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, no. It, oh, no, okay, no. so... It's, uh, it's a constitution saving throw, and oh. it bursts in 5 foot radius of damage. Well, yeah, but it, okay. it still crits, it's just, there's a save involved. Okay, yeah. Okay. A, okay, and 5 poison. So what's the save for them? Uh, HC 19 constitution for the big guy. So, he makes it? Uh, give me a second, I have to roll for it. Oh, sorry, I thought you rolled yes. for it. Oh, no, no, I haven't rolled for it yet. Yes, he does succeed, uh, so he'll oh. take half. Okay, so what's the uh, D... What's the die? D6? Uh, D8 for the Bardic Inspiration, then. So, uh, two I D8 did. from me. Yes, and then okay. it's halved for them, so... Okay, so... Like? I rolled 11. It takes five, so, got it. Yeah. Okay, then you got all the damage from everything I just did to him, right? That is correct. You did 61 oh. points of damage in total. Oh, oh lovely. Okay, oh. next attack. Um, let's do... Okay, flat roll. Okay. That is a 26 to hit. That hits. Okay, let's... He takes... Get out of my way. Uh, 19 piercing plus uh, 2 poison. And favorite foe only does once a turn. Yeah, so um, that's it. 18. 
And then... Uh, so in total, you did 80 points of damage in a single turn. Yes. Holy... Okay, it's then still, I'm going- it, oh, It's still standing. They're doing good. Okay, lovely. I left them looking. I look at everyone around, then I look at Delilah, and I say, I'm going back for her. I gotta make sure she's okay. You can deal with this, and I'm gonna exit combat. Because I have to leave. I go for Delilah. Oh no, yeah. we're just support! Uh, Delilah, and or, uh, to be fair, I was just gonna go all the way through combat until we got back to uh, your turn, and then probably just end today's session. Um, oh, man. So, uh, we'll oh, just uh, continue I on. I stay, then. Um, okay. uh, you'll, oh, you'll stay, wait. and Good. we'll pick up uh, at the beginning of... Uh, we'll start at your turn uh, next session. Um, so... Uh, but I'll have the undead people go. So let's see here. They have half movement speed. Really? Uh, Ready? lovely. Okay, uh, see you guys. See you guys. Alright, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, what does happen to Isidore, though? Does he just sleep combat? Can he be attacked? Uh, you won't be attacked. Uh, okay, so I just, I just, I guess, here. You're slipping, yeah, you're slipping behind the thing to make sure that Delilah's okay. Um, yeah. so. And Mr. Brownie. Yeah. Love the game, guys. Can't wait to play yeah, next time. See ya. Five, See ya. 10, 15, Damn. 20. And 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Like, how much movement speed do they have? They have not a... Oh, well, they have more than I was expecting. Okay, so they can actually move two more squares than I was expecting. Um, so they move there, 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 and there. Uh, that's their turns. Uh, oh, wait, except for this guy. 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25, 30. Moves there. Um, okay, cool. Uh, undead giant. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and look. Uh, he uh, will go ahead and charge forward, lumbering as a giant does. Um. Oh no. Five, ten, fifteen. Fear 20, not, my comrades. For God is by our 30, side. We will win this. Uh, thirty-five. <laughs> yeah. They shall uh -uh. get oh, right no! there. And uh, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to stare at Wendy. Wendy, make me a constitution saving ah, throw, okay. please. It's not targeting me. No worries. Ah. Alright. Oh, no, I'm about to die. <laughs> no, the big one is also. What's your role for your constitution saving No matter throw? how big the enemy is. God will um, smite wolf. God will smite me. What the heck? Why did you first target the... Oh. I rolled a 17. I don't know if you uh, see, so. Great. Uh, you succeed. So you take uh, half of 28 points of damage. Mm -mm. Uh, so you take... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> take, take 14 Very points nice. of necrotic damage. <laughs> uh, you take 14 points of necrotic damage, and I need you to make me a con save again, uh, as uh, you need to concentrate on your slow spell. The DC is 10. All right. Hey, we'll see what fun. I have for this guy. Okay. I rolled on uh, mathematics. Uh, I rolled uh, I rolled on freaking. I rolled a freaking. What is it again? You roll above a ten. All right, I rolled an eleven. Plus hey, you're fine. You're fine. fine. The DC is ten. So if you you rolled an if you roll eleven on the dice, you're fine. Um, unless you have negative constitution, That's but no one has negative constitution now. Um, 
All right, and then uh, it will go ahead and it with its giant, giant uh, pickaxe. Not uh, me. It's going to Not make an attack against Alvin. Nah. -uh. <laughs> oh, it ignored the freaking tent. Um. <laughs> going to ignore the giant owl. Uh, it doesn't know what that is. Um, I'm assuming... I'm assuming that a 20... Yep, yep, yep. It yep, hits? Yep, 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 yep. yep, 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 yep. <laughs> uh, right, cool. They're just uh, a freaking fluid, man! Okay. Uh, okay. Um, oh, no! Uh, that's not good. For me, or for it? Uh, Alvin, uh, it's not good for you. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, let's see here, that's, uh... I'm doing math in my head, and so it's taking me a, a little bit. Um... Panic, 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 panic. I have plus four in constitution. I better survive this. Uh, you go ahead and you take 34 points of damage. I didn't, I couldn't, your microphone cut. You take 34 uh, yeah, four points of damage. I'm alive! Four. <laughs> yeah. As it hits you with this Taking giant pickaxe with a WHAPAM! <laughs> I will, I will. Nagrivam. Revenge um, of the creature. Uh, and that's its turn. Um, Who wants a dog? Uh, Severus. Turn. Jack, ah. next to you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna move. Is the building blocking his pathway? Big guy. Standing, he just like crushed the building as he stood like in that space. Oh, oh wow! Uh, right. So I'm like in the building with him. Oh no, you're like on top of the building, right next to him. Uh, if I say use a spell in a sixty foot cone, will it also damage um Alvin? Yeah. Uh, well, it would hit. It would hit uh the owl at least. Uh, well, I say owl, animated tent. Oh. Uh, uh, Hello, if, if, is the bird flying or is it on the floor? Uh, it is. It's flying. Basically. It's flying, but the cone would still hit it. Uh oh. But how high is it? To be honest, it's not high enough to avoid the spell. That that's how high it is. Uh, so. I'm I'm gonna use. Oh dear. Uh, I just hope it doesn't die. It's okay, it has a lot of HP. Uh, so what do you cast? Uh, Cone of... No, wait. Yes, I think. I, I forgot. So, spell book. Let me check, let me check. It, de it deals uh, around... Burning Highlands. I can't... I'm assuming. Cone of yes, Cone? Yes. Oh, the... I know. From the yeah, staff. The, the staff. Alright. I cast a coal to it. And since I am using the ice staff, it has an English top. How much? 1d8, so it's 9d8. Cool. And... It has a plus three to my hit, so now my and my attack bonus is plus five, so that's eight. Eight. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, cone of cold. You just roll the dice. It says in the spell. It's not an attack. Yeah. It's just, it's a spell. No, but um, it's it's it, it, the spell is it, in the uh, yeah. like it's it. part of the. Spell. Yeah, you cast it from the staff as an action. You just cast the spell, yes. and it and it makes the save. Like you don't you don't roll to hit or anything. You just cast the spell. Oh. Um, nice, nice. Uh, it's, it's what's your what's your DC? 
Mm. Ah. Thirteen. Uh, mm. yeah, the, uh, the giant succeeds. Uh, I'm gonna need Wendy to make a constitution saving throw for her, uh, animated object. Thing. Dancing object. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm gonna do my dancing object. <laughs> um, I rolled, uh... I rolled a 12. Uh, okay, you fail. So go ahead and roll the damage for Cone of Cold, which I believe is oh, no. uh, 8d8 cold damage, if I remember correctly. Let me, let me look. Cone of oh. Cold. Interesting. Here we damage, here we damage. They gonna die? Yeah, 88. Roll 88, please. Everest, as you cast Cone of Cold. Wait! <laughs> What's happening? Something's going on. I don't know. I hear a lot of noise. Yeah, that's because um, I think yeah. he has parents in this room. I have all right, I guess him. my. Uh, you know. Wait, so is Delilah an NPC guess... or is this like? Uh... She's an NPC. She's not participating in the fight, though. Oh, how great! Can you see the traitor right now? Maybe she could show the can orb you... of teleportation. <laughs> She's an enemy. <laughs> and teleport. Destroy her along with the others. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she could throw the orb of teleportation and teleport the freaking giant to another place. Question, can you see? But you shape? have the uh, oh, thing, yeah. don't you? I'm just gonna go ahead and roll the damage for uh, Severus because they don't seem to be available at the moment. Question to, to facilitate people, can combat. They, can people see the square thingies? Uh, also, can question. Even hear me? Yeah, I hear uh, you, Newt. Uh, since I'm on a horse, and my warhorse has actually actions to attack, uh, yeah. would that be, like, I need oh, to expand my action okay. for it to attack? Nine what damage. also do? Uh, let's see, um, what's half of 49? Can people hear me? Yeah, yes, I hear I you, Newt. Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, can, uh, people, can people see the squares on the on the map yes. thing? Yes, yeah, sure this one. Oops. Uh, uh, I think it's twenty four damage. I don't. I don't exactly. Yeah, know you do twenty four, so that's gonna be one hundred and four damage. And then the thing in creation total. How much points does it have? Okay, you kill the undead giant by casting cone of cold. Oh, it was <gasps> vulnerable. It was. It, it, uh, no, even if it, su it succeeded, it's not vulnerable. It just dies because it only had 102 hit points. <laughs> wow, nice. Uh, and unfortunately, I think that the animated tent also just dies. Rejoice. No, it has 58. Rejoice for your so... prayers. Have oh, been answered. just barely manages to survive. <laughs> yeah. Well, it has hit one points. HP. This ain't no. One HP, one HP in a dream. It's just a uh, how do I how do I stop drawing these stupid squares? I don't know. Uh, it's so just fun. get off of the uh the draw shape thing. Yeah. How do I remove them? I got it. 
Uh, and with yeah. that being said, it is Alvin's turn, and uh, I realized that I actually, uh, my parents need me to do something that is texted. So after Alvin's turn, we will just end combat no. at the top of the round with yeah. Satorum. Okay, I don't, I don't uh, know if you can see oh, this, wow. these, this square, but I cast Tidal Wave hitting everything inside of the square. All right, cool. What's your deck save, DC? Uh, my deck save DC would be 16, and they right. roll with... They have a minus two penalty, because of... Uh, three. yes they do. I'm just rolling once for all of them, and they fail. Wait, oh, so no. that would be Is he going three... to get hit? Yeah. So oh, that, would, that would be three D eight damage, right? Yeah. Uh... I think the tidal wave is just not tall enough to hit the floating. Uh, it hits things like ten feet up in there. Yeah, so it's just high enough to not hit the floating object, aka the the dancing object. So okay, it so it's it's forty-eight, and I just yes. roll manually, right? Yeah, go ahead and roll forty-eight. Tell me what you roll. Let's see if you can kill them. Uh, so that would. Be a total of twenty-eight damage, and they get knocked prone. Right, they all get knocked prone. Uh, only the one that's a torm hit is dead. The others are still living. Oh no! Uh. Oh no! And then that's I would no like one that's to closest move. to you, by the way. How do I stop drawing these stupid? Uh, I. Uh, it's fine. Uh, yeah. The, then I move down to the I move I move over to the child that is Mr. Well, Grammy. Uh I took a lot of damage. Was the what was yeah. the what was the what was the damage total again? Uh forty twenty eight, not forty eight. Oh. Twenty eight. I was gonna say if you rolled forty eight that would be uh it would kill all of them. Yeah, and it isn't I can't even roll that high with forty eight. It's like, I rolled two eights and two sixes. That's pretty good. Uh, Alright, and then we will go ahead and call the session there, because my parents need me, so... Alright. All right. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the session. Until next one. Yep. That was, that was yeah. pretty alright. See you next time. Okay. See you next time. Hopefully, I will not sleep through my alarms. Yep. Alright. Hopefully.